classmate. Ako to, si Maikin. At ngayon, pag-usapan natin kung paano isolve yung area ng parallelograms. Pero bago yon, siguraduhin mo muna na marunong ka nang mag-multiply ng whole numbers pati ng decimals. Kung hindi pa, may video tayo dito o kaya sa may description box. Check it first. By the way, ang mag-subscribe ay papasa sa surprise quiz ni teacher. <laughs> At ang mag-skip naman ng ads ay mamemental block sa recitation kahit nag-review. <laughs> Ready ka na? Tara, perfectin natin yung quiz mo. Ang parallelogram ay merong two opposite equal sides. Ibig sabihin, kung 8 feet ang measurement nito, 8 feet din yung measurement ng katapat niyang side. At kung 6 feet naman to, 6 feet din yung katapat niya. To find the area of a parallelogram, we will use the formula A equals BH or area equals base times height. Pero before tayo mag-solve, intindihin muna natin kung ano ang ibig sabihin ng base at height. Ang base at height ng paralelogram ay laging perpendicular sa isa't isa. Ibig sabihin, ito ay dalawang lines na nakaka-create ng 90 degree angle. Kadalasan, mukha itong letter T. Tingnan natin ang paralelogram na ito. Itong violet na sides ay tinatawag na base. Ito namang green sides ay slanting height. At itong blue part ay height. Kapag nagsasolve ng area, ang ginagamit lang natin ay yung violet at blue lines or yung base at height. At yung green lines ay panggulo lang. Ayaw mo maniwala? E ba't ka panonood dito? He, joke. So pero kung titingnan natin, ito ang ating perfect T. At siya ay nakaka-create ng 90 degrees na angle. Ibig sabihin, ito ang ating base at height. Aside from that, meron pa bang iba? Tama. Kung babalik ta rin, isa rin itong perfect T na merong 90 degrees na angle. Ibig sabihin, ito naman ang ating base at height. E paano naman yung slanting height? Again, panggulo lang yan o hindi natin ginagamit kasi wala naman siyang ka-perpendicular o ka-perfect T. Try natin. Find the area of the parallelogram whose measurements are 4 and 8 inches. So, sisimulan natin ito sa ating formulang A equals BH or area times base times height. Ang base at height ay makikita sa pamamagitan ng perfect T. Yan, tama. At meron itong 90 degree na angle. So, ang ating base at height ay 4 and 8. Tapos take note, okay lang kahit magkapalit yan dahil sa commutative property of multiplication. So by multiplying, we will get A equals 32. And don't forget, since inches ang ating unit of measurement, inches times inches ay square inches. The area of this parallelogram is 32 square inches. Isa pa. Again, let us find the area of this parallelogram. Simulan natin sa formula na A equals BH or area equals base times height. Pero teka, bakit parang walang perfect T? At kahit ikutin, parang wala pa rin. Hmm, sure ka ba? Tingnan mabuti. Pag minove natin ito, makikita na ito ang ating perfect T at meron din siyang 90 degree na measurement. So therefore, our base and height are 7 and 15. And again, walang problema kung anong mauna dahil sa commutative property of multiplication. So our area is 105. Don't forget, the unit of measurement is meters. At dahil area ang ating sinasolve, square meters. So our area is 105 square meters. Ito naman. This time, we have the measurements 4, 5, at 10. At dahil paralelogram yan, same pa rin ang formula. Para sa base at height, nakikita mo ba yung perfect T? Yes. Ibig sabihin, yung 4 at 10 ang ating base at height. E paano yung 5? Isa lang yung panggulo. Ginagamit yan to check 
kung talagang naintindihan mo yung concept ng base at height. So, sulat natin dito, A equals 10 times 4. Again, walang problema kung ang sinulat mo ay 4 times 10. So, multiplying that, we will get A equals 40. Pero again, paano na naman to? Wala siyang unit of measurement. In that case, ang isusulat natin ay square units or SQ units. So, our area is 40 square units. Paano naman kung may decimals tulad nito? Same pa rin yan. Since parallelogram yan, ang formula pa rin ay A equals BH or area equals base times height. Tapos hanapin natin ulit yung perfect P. Tama. So ang ating base at height ay 0 0.8 at 1.2. At again, yung 1.3 ay panggulo lang. So sulat natin dito, A equals 0 0.8 times 1.2. Multiplying, we will get 0 0.96. At dahil centimeters ang ating given, ang ating unit of measurement for area ay square centimeters. Therefore, our area is 96 hundreds square centimeters. Last na, kaya hirapan natin ng slide. Again, we have to find the area of the parallelogram so we will use the same formula. Pero teka, bakit parang walang perfect T? Take note, pwede yung ikot-ikutin, tulad nito. At kung makikita, meron pa rin itong measurement na 90 degrees. So our base and height are 12 and 8. No problem ulit kung ano maunang isulat. So by multiplying, we will get A equals 96. And don't forget our unit of measurement, square feet. So therefore, Ang ating final answer ay 96 square feet. Try it! Pause this video and find the area of the parallelogram. Pagtapos ka na, i-play mo ulit to check if your answer is correct. Ready ka na? So, we will start with our formula A equals BH or area equals base times height. Then, pwede nating i-move ito. So, we will see that this is our perfect T. And our base and height are 12 and 18. Walang problema kung anong mauna mong isulat. So, by multiplying that, we will get A equals 216. At huwag kakalimutan. Ang unit of measurement ay yards. Since area ang hinahanap natin, square yards. Therefore, our answer is 216 squared yards. Nakuha mo rin ba? Nox naman! Galing mo ah! Hirapan natin. Lagyan natin ng decimals. So again, pause this video and find the area of the parallelogram. Check natin. Again, same formula. At para sa base at height, ito ang ating perfect T. So, our base and height are 2.1 and 6.3. At ito namang 2.9 ay panggulo lang. So, sulatan natin siya dito. Again, walang problema kung anong nauna mong isulat. Multiplying that, we will get 13.23. At huwag kakalimutan ng ating unit of measurement na square millimeters. Therefore, our area is 13 and 23 hundreds square millimeters. Nakuha mo ba ulit? Kung ganun, ikaw ay certified na matindi. Marami ka bang natutunan today? Sana naman para hindi sayang yung video natin. Till next time, <laughs> bye!